Okay, so we want to be able to model real LEDs from data sheets and be able to put them into LT Spice. So the first thing is, is we need to understand what the IV, the voltage and current relationship is for a specific LED. So we're gonna go and we're gonna grab this SBT90. So this is a big high power LED. And what we're doing is you see that it has currents up to 13 amps. And what we want to do is we want to scan through this data sheet and we're looking for an IV curve, a current versus voltage curve. So scrolling through some of this, looking for that. Some plots. Oh, so here's some plots. So this is how much lumens or how much optical power it puts out as a function of current. So what we see here is the more current you get, it's pretty linear with light. This is the part that we care about here. So this is my forward current for versus forward voltage for this this LED. So what we want to do is we want to extract this data. So I previously went and clipped this data off and saved just that plot as a JPEG. So what we see here is here is our IV just as a single plot. Okay, so now we need to go in and we need to digitize this. So uh, I just went and Googled a uh, plot digitizer. So here is a web page that does all of this. So we're going to do this. So we're going to load our image, choose the file, and we're going to grab this image. So we're doing a XY plot. So we select this and we hit align axis. So this says that we're going to pick two X values and then two Y values so it knows how the pixels correlate to numbers. So we're gonna come in here and we can look up here. So we're gonna come in here, we're after our X. So we just need to be on the X, the Y doesn't matter as much. And then let's go over here to the three point. That's close as I can get. And now we're after our Y. And then we'll go up to this 18 point right here. Okay, so then we hit complete. And then we're going to put in what those values are. So the first one is 0. The second one was 3. And then this one, the Y values are 2 and 18. So we hit OK. And so it now knows what these points are. So now what we have to do is now we have to come in and we have to grab the red part from all these black lines. So we're going to come over here and we're going to grab the color, pick the color, and we're going to pick this red color. OK, and then what we're going to do is we can put boxes around it. We're going to use this pin. And so what this pin does is we're just going to come in here and we're going to grab just about where our plot line is that we care about. Well, missed a little bit, so let's go back and fill in. It looks like we have it all covered pretty well. And then we're going to hit run. And so what it did is it went and found the red line and grabbed all these points. So here are our points. We have now have it digitized. So we're going to look at our data. Here are all of the voltage and currents. We are going to download this to a CSV. So here is my default CSV. Okay, so here is all of my data. So now I'm going to take this data and I want to plot it. So here I'm just going to grab this data, control C, and move it over to this other Excel file that I've made to create this. So here is my voltage and here is my data. And you see there's my plot. So there's my plot that I have as a function of voltage and current. Okay, so now we have to understand a little bit about diodes. Okay, so we want to look at my current voltage plot for a diode. 
And so you see it kind of goes like this because it's an exponential. So let me do that in red so we can see. So that's an exponential. So my plot is that i of my diode is equal to some is parameter times exp of v of my diode, which we're just going to call v1, over n times vt. And then my vt is 0 0.026. Cool. And that is my thermal voltage. So that's this exponential. But if I go back and look at my data, it looks like it is an exponential. It starts off exponential, but then it goes linear. So what we typically do is we want this to look like, and then it goes linear. Well, that linear is we're going to add in a resistor that takes that makes that diode more linear. So we're going to call this V1 and this V2, and it's going to have some current that is ID. So what we want to do is they have the same current, so we're just going to be creating what our current is, which is ID. So my, or we have a fixed ID, we want to know what our voltage is. So the V1 is going to be equal to N times 0 0.026 times the natural log of ID over IS plus, well, and then my V2 is just going to be some RS value times ID. So we see that my V is equal to N times 0 0.026 times the natural log of ID over IS plus RS times ID. And so what we see here is, is this is my independent variable. And this, these are my parameters that I'm going to be adjusting. Okay, so this is the equation that we're going to put in. So let's go back over to that Excel plotting sheet. And so here is our basic equation. N times VT times the log, and in Excel that log is going to be the natural log. But this isn't log, this needs to be natural log. So let's put in LN. Okay, so we're, we take this equation right here and we're plugging it in right here. So right here, you see here is my n. It grabs this n from right here, multiplies it by the 0 0.026 times the natural log, and then it grabs this current and multiply and divides it by the is, and then it adds in the rs times the current. And then we just basically take this and copy it all the way down. So now we've got to plug in some values. Let's just plug in stuff like this. Okay, and then you see that it creates this plot. So this is my fit, and the goal is to get this fit to lie on top of that red one there, okay? So if I look at this equation right here, Okay, this one has the this one here has the natural log. So as the ID gets bigger, it starts to contribute less and less. So when my current is large, it's going to be dominated by this term here, and when my current is smaller, it's going to be dominated by this term here. Okay, so let's go back over here to our fit. So we see here that the slope of this line near the end should be equal to the slope of that line there. So we obviously need to change our RS to get these slopes. So we're going to start by looking at the end of the plot right here, and we're going to change this to, let's say, 0.01. Now you see that this one here is steeper than that one, so that's too much. 0.02. 0.03. Okay, 
So now we have to look at the n and the is. So let's start with the extreme. If this is just one, you see we're looking at this point right here. So the n times the is is the shift this direction. So you see if I go one e to the minus 30, you see it shifting over. And the n is going to tell you what the shape of this looks like. So if I plug in like 10, you see that then this part here is much more rounded. And then if I have the one, you see this part here is a little bit steeper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick four. Okay, and then we're going to start adjusting the IS to slide. To, then we're going to check this IS in order to slide this back and forth. So let's start plugging these in. And then we're starting to get pretty close. And then we want to go a little bit more, 5e to the minus 9. Whoops. And so now you see here that the shape of this and the position are pretty much right on. So it looks pretty accurate down here. We're off a little bit on the slope. So let's change this to 0 0.031. And now what you see is that this lines up. We've got a nice good curve. So these are the parameters that I want, and these are the parameters I'm going to use to model my diet, my LED in LT Spice. So I'm going to go over to LT Spice, new schematic. I'm going to grab a diode, and I'm going to do pick new diode, and then I'm looking for just a uh, random LED. Oh, here's a random LED. And then I want to copy all this, so I'm going to just do control C. And then I'm going to do edit, spice directive, and copy all this in. Okay, so now we're going to come in here and we're just going to rename it. So we're going to call it my LED. And then the IS we're going to plug in which we are using 5e to the minus 9. So we're going to go 5e to the minus 9. Here is my RS. The RS is 0 0.031. So I'm going to put in 0 0.031. Oops. Uh, and then we go grab our n, and we're using an n of 4. Now, we don't care about how fast. We're doing nice and slow. We don't care about the manufacturer. Might as well leave in the type of LED. And then that goes like down here somewhere. And then we're going to click on the name and do my LED. Okay, so now we want to create an IV plot. So we're going to sweep the voltage and look at the current. So we want to sweep the current, so we are going to use a pulse. And we want to go from 0 to 3. And we're just going to let it take a second to get up there. And then we just wire these two together, the voltage across the LED. We're going to label our node just so it's easy to reference it. Okay, and then we are going to simulate. We're going to do a transient. We're going to do one second because that's how long we did our pulse. So if we look at this, here is my pulse. So in one second, it's going from zero volts linearly up to three volts. And we want to look at the current. But we want to do it not in function of time as a function of voltage. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to plug in V of D. And so then this is my voltage and this is my current and this is my IV plot right here. We want to get it to look like we want to check it and see does it look like this. So this is going from 0 to 4 and 0 to 20. So we are going to change this to 0 to 4 run it and we're going to change this to 20. And if we make them look the similar size 
And then we see that this plot here looks a lot like this plot here, and we are good. And then we are done. We have made our new LED from a data sheet.